Hold up, I am on my way I'm in motion Let's go to the ocean Yeah, let's go outside we Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and this is Life Made Simple. Today we are doing a messy house clean with me. I'm mainly going to be focusing just on the kitchen and dining room area and maybe take you along into my bedroom depending on how long it takes me to do this because I'm going to be doing a real thorough cleaning of this dining room and kitchen area. I need to mop the floors real good, clean the sink, clean all the dishes, just wipe everything down. It just, I need to deep clean an area of my home and I chose to do this because this is literally where we're at majority of the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this intro super short because I need to get all this done. I'm actually halfway through done cleaning and I realized I never gave an intro. But at the beginning of this video, I'm actually gonna be showing you this weekend, we got our Christmas tree, so I'm gonna put the clip in of me decorating, putting the lights on, all that good stuff, and just finally having our tree, which I say finally, but honestly, we always do our tree after Thanksgiving, like the day after Thanksgiving. I think it just felt like so long because everybody like really decorated super early this year, and even I like got most of our decorations out before Thanksgiving. So Further ado, let's get into this video. I got tons of cleaning motivation and a little bit of Christmas decorating, so let's go. Oh, how I will. We finally got our real Christmas tree this year. Usually, um, ever since we've been together in Ohio, we would go and cut our tree down every year and it was really cheap and it was always fun to have the memory we would cut the very end of the tree off and like make an ornament out of it and this year we finally got our real tree last year we had to skip it it was our first christmas in texas and we could not find a tree farm for the life of us and every place that we went that had them pre-cut the trees just looked so dried out already but we actually, funny story, we didn't actually go to a tree farm this year. I had one picked out, it was only an hour away, but it was so cold and rainy and there was no way we were going to be able to do any of our fun activities that they had at this farm. And I was so excited to go, but we always get it the Friday after Thanksgiving and yeah. We ended up getting this one at Lowe's and it actually wasn't bad. We looked through all of them and this is a nine footer. It's the tallest Christmas tree I've had yet. Um, and I absolutely love it. And it actually is not really bad. Like it seems pretty fresh. Comment down below, let me know what is your least favorite thing to decorate or do during a Christmas season. Like, my least favorite thing to do is put the lights on the Christmas tree. I always feel like I just can't get it right or it doesn't look right and I don't know, the whole spinning and like hopping over the cord and pulling the tree out, like it's just very tedious and it's not like my favorite thing to do, but I love everything else. This is also the first year that I've ever had one of these like breeds of trees. Um, I know this is probably the tree that most people go for, but we usually get the really long soft needles and they rarely ever shed. And this one sheds a ton. Well, there we go. I ended up using the reds. I actually really, really like it. And I just, I don't know, I tried to fill it in as much as I could. I did not put too many at the bottom because I honestly know I shouldn't be too tr strategic with this because my three-year-old and probably my one-year-old are going to rearrange at least the bottom half of it all the way up until Christmas. <laughs> it won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here just 
So this is Sunday and the other clips where I was decorating the tree was actually filmed on a Saturday. We had a super busy weekend with it being Thanksgiving and then Black Friday and then we had a Friendsgiving on that Saturday night and there was just so much stuff that I was trying to do and I was running around so we kind of let the house go and in my mind I was like I have to clean at least like deep clean one area of my house to make myself feel better so that's what I'm doing I chose to like really really scrub the counters really good I'm actually using uh, I can't remember the name of it now um, darn it I don't remember what that spray bottle is called seventh generation there we go I'm using the seventh generation disinfectant cleaner and I'm not a huge fan of it like I really was just trying to get it gone so I could throw it away and I probably will not be repurchasing it again I really prefer just using my thesis cleaner and Clorox wipes if I have to <laughs> else's dog do that like I don't care if he licks the dishes or whatever he wants to do but I hate it when he stands on the door because he has started to like bend the hardware and this is a brand new dishwasher and I'm like dude you're a little fat butt is bending my dishwasher door like quit standing on it I don't care if he licks the dishes like they're gonna get cleaned but I just don't like it when he stands on it I got my hands on your body so tell me Tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be not it Because there ain't nobody love you like I Like I do 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 So right here I was using this rag to wipe up the counter and I had just cleaned a bowl with a whole bunch of cream cheese. It was a dip. Yeah, there was cream cheese apparently all over the counter and I went to wipe it with my clean rag and it like smeared cream cheese all over the counter and I was like, really? <laughs> While editing this video, I notice if you watch from here on out, my black lab literally never leaves my side. She is almost in all these clips and she does this all the time. Like before I was pregnant, after I was pregnant, when I was pregnant, like she's such the sweetest dog ever and she can be a little overwhelming because she is like constantly in your way, but she does mean well, but she literally, she would just, I mean, if I was outside and it was negative three degrees outside or it was 90 degrees outside and she is dying of heat, she would stay out there until I was done. I get asked all the time about this table. It is actually the Chip and Joanna Gaines, the Magnolium Home Line. Uh, I got it at some furniture store in Ohio when we lived there and I know a lot of actual stores sell this line they have a white one and a like tan wood colored one I originally wanted the wood color one but they were sold out so we took the white and I highly suggest it it is great with kids there's no stains whatsoever on this table and it's totally worth it We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling. Also, if you guys have made it this far, please 
take the time and comment down below. Let me know what type of videos you guys like to watch. What videos do you want to see me make? Is there ones that you like better than the others? I have a couple DIYs and like home renovation stuff coming up soon that I'm super pumped about and I cannot wait to get those done. And of course I love doing cleaning videos, but sometimes I feel like it's a little repetitive and I I get like down in the dumps because I'm like, do people actually like this? Do like they want to see this? I don't know. So those are just like the thoughts going through my head. And when you guys comment down below or like this video and give it a thumbs up, it really shows me as a creator that you guys want to continue to see these videos and that I'm not just spending all this time making them for you guys not to enjoy them. So comment down below and please let me know what do you guys want to see from me. My friends and I got this mop a couple of months ago and I actually really really like it. I don't use it near as often as you'd think I would because I have a cross wave and I have a steam mop and then I have this. So I kind of like alternate just depending on how often I have cleaned my floors. If it's been a while since I've cleaned my floors, I definitely will not use the mop because... I don't know. My thought on mops is you just slosh around the same dirty water. So if my floors are extremely dirty, I'm not going to be using the mop. But I've actually cleaned these floors just recently, probably within the last week. I took the shark and the steam mop and went over them really, really well. But I don't know. I just felt like using this mop today. There was a couple spots that I really wanted to like hand scrub and I just like how close it gets to the baseboards and you can use it to clean your baseboards. And honestly, it is like this mat right here. It's one of those like memory foam mats. This mop gets it the cleanest unless I'm like down on my hands and knees scrubbing it. My shark and my cross wave do not clean it that well. I don't know why. Like there will be like stains that stay on it even after the cross wave goes over it. But when I take the mop to it, it is like nice. The mistletoe get a kiss. The rest of the year may be hard to come by. So right now I'm gonna give it a try. videos back I know a couple people had said they want to see a deep oven like or well a deep oven, a deep clean of my oven and stove comment down below is that something you guys still want to see if so I totally need to do that because it really needs cleaned so let me know if you guys do want to see it I will go ahead and film it and this is the aftermath everything was so nice and clean it was so nice to wake up in the morning and have all of this done. I have a load of laundry I need to fold and then the box, the diaper box and the other box, that is actually stuff that I'm sending out to my brother-in-law and my parents and then all those dishes are clean, they just need to be put away. But I am ending the night with my sleepy time tea and this is like a routine that I've started a couple months ago when I got really sick with a sore throat and I just love to have a sleepy time tea every night with a little bit of honey and it is so relaxing. Most of the time I actually drink it in bed right before I go to sleep and it is so nice. So I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment down below so I can get to know you and chat and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye!